In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize checkboxes inside of Webflow Forms. We are going to take the default blue checkbox and turn it into something more beautiful and custom that also matches your design. So let's get started. Right here on this page, I have a single element, which is this uh, super simple signup form. And I have already styled it. I've already styled all elements except for the checkbox. I have not touched it and it is still in its default uh, style and state. To show you that, I go to the preview mode and click it. And as you can see, it doesn't look, look good. It's super small, it's blue, which doesn't fit at all to this design. So let's change that. I go back to the edit mode. The first thing that you always, always have to do when you customize the style of a checkbox in Webflow, you have to select the checkbox, go to the style panel, and inside here, you have to set uh, the checkbox settings and set the style from default to custom. And once you've done that, you can now style this checkbox uh, however you want. To do that, you can just go uh, to the style panel like you're used to for other elements. Uh, the first thing that I usually do is I change the size of this checkbox because it is right now it is super small in its default state. It's hard to see and hard to click on. And uh, to do that, I go to the size section and then set the width to 1.4 rem and the height also to 1.4 rem. You can play around with your own uh, size settings a little bit. Then go to the spacings tab and add a little bit of spacing on the right side. Let's say 0.7 rem, so that there is separation between the checkbox and the checkbox label. If we preview this, then you can see that this already looks much better. The checkbox is nice and large, it's easy to click on and it's easy to see on the website. Okay, let's keep going. The next thing that I want to do is I want to change the background of this checkbox. Right now, the background in the non-checked state is transparent, but I want the background to be the same background as these input fields. So this slightly dark brown color. To do that, I just click on the checkbox, go to backgrounds and select the background color. You can choose anything that you want here but I've already prepared this light brown color and I'm going to select it. In this case, it, I think it would also look good if we were to change the border radius of this checkbox because all of the other UI elements have a round border as well. So why not add the same to the checkbox? I click on borders and then set the border radius to, let's say, 0.4 rem. And now we have a checkbox with a nice and round border. Okay, cool. So let's keep going. And next up, I would like to check I would like to style the checked state uh, of this checkbox. So how it looks like when somebody has already clicked it. To do that, you have to select the checkbox. And up here in the states panel, you have to select the checked uh, the checked element inside of the dropdown. And now you can see it has the default blue background and we can style it. So let's go and change the background. Uh, the default one is blue. I want to change this blue background to uh, this dark red color, the same as my button. But again, you could use any color that you want here. Let's do that. And this looks much better already. Uh, but there is one last thing. I don't, I don't know if you can see this in the screen recording, but by default, if the box is in the checked state, there's this uh, narrow and thin uh, blue border around it. And I don't want that. So go to borders. And instead of setting this border to blue, I want it to be, I don't know, some light gray color. And now the blue border, border disappeared and it looks much better. Okay, now to the final and most important part of the checkbox styling. Now I want to change the actual check mark icon, the check icon inside of the checkbox. And to do that, you open the backgrounds panel again. And as you can see, 
Webflow has already included a, a custom background image, a check icon, and it's called custom checkbox uh, check.svg. To modify it, you can just click on it and make changes. Now, if you just want to keep this default, uh, default check icon, but uh, want to make it look a little better, there's a nice little uh, and quick trick that you can use. Just change the, the size from cover to contain. And now, as you could see, I'm going to do it again, cover and change it to contain. And now, as you can see, this check icon uh, became a little smaller and it looks more natural now because now there's a little space around it and the icon doesn't touch the edge of this checkbox. So that's a nice little trick that I use a lot of times if I just want to uh, optimize this default image. But for this video and for most project, I tend to go uh, the extra mile and um, I use a custom check, uh, check icon. And to do that, you can just click on choose image and then you can select any image that you want and uh, set it as the check icon. In this case, I've already uploaded this round and uh, more dynamically looking check icon. I select it and now it has become the new icon. But as of now, it is a little too large. So I changed the size to custom and set the width to, let's say, um, 80%. And I think this looks really good. Let's look at it in the preview mode. Yes, that looks really nice, just how, how I want it. One last thing that I usually do when customizing the style of a checkbox is I go to the, I remove the checked state, then I go to the effects section inside of the style panel and set the cursor of the checkbox to pointer. And what this does is if I hover over the, the checkbox icon now, the cursor is no longer in the default, the mouse cursor is no longer in the default state, but in this click state. And this, uh, in my opinion, improves the usability a little bit because now everybody knows that this is something they have to click on. And this is how you create a really cool looking and custom checkbox in Webflow. If you want to learn more about Webflow forms and how you can style them and how you can customize them, then check out this Webflow forms playlist that I have created for you. And if you need someone to do all of your Webflow development tasks for you, then go to my website, mikepecha.com and contact me. Have a nice day. Bye.